Hey folks, I am excited to bring to you today some updates on Bluegrass Guitar Essentials, how it's coming along. Uh, I've got a whole list of things uh, going on right now. Um, just a big old update sheet here. I'm just going to go over real quick. And uh, just a reminder, you are seeing this before everyone else if you're on my newsletter. Not newsletter, but my Bluegrass Guitar Essentials email list. Uh, and if you want to get on that and get the the information first as well as access to uh, some other things, screenshots that are going to be coming up uh, right below this video if you're in the newsletter section, the email list section. There's going to be some screenshots and things like that below this. So it's a little few extras for those that are subscribed to my uh, uh, mailing list for updates on all things Bluegrass Guitar Essentials. Um, you will be seeing this before everyone else in the public and this will probably be released a couple days after I release this to the newsletter or the email list whatever you want to call it uh, so that everybody on that list will be able to see it uh, have a chance to see it before everyone else so here's the, here's the updates and I decided to do a video update this has been actually my first video update for the, the uh, email list because I've just been writing it down and typing it out and everything and I just thought, well, let's just sit down and make a video of it instead of having to do all this typing and everything and just just talk about it. So maybe you guys will enjoy that. Uh, first thing is first, that is that the files for the very last video, which is going to, uh, well, I'll get into that in a minute, but the very last video has finally been uploaded. Uh, after weeks of trying to get my um, uh, video editor to... Uh, upload it to the system. We found out that the system, uh, the servers were powering down and kind of timing out, uh, and they only last for like 12 hours. Well, the file was so huge, it was like 20 gigs or something like that. It was so huge, and I'm going to compress it and everything and kind of you know sh uh, shrink a little bit. Shouldn't be much quality loss at all, if any. But it was so big that it was it was taking days. To upload and you know if you know if you're a tech person you know that upload speeds are generally much slower than download speeds so and so it was timing it out before it was able to go all the way so I told him I said just split the file into two files and I'll combine it and split it where I think it needs to be split that will have a logical flow or whatever but that way you can upload it and it'll be half the size and it'll, it'll upload fine well, he, he, he did split the file, but he didn't upload them separately. He uploaded them at the same time, which, again, would still be 20 gigs. So that was all kinds of problems, and I couldn't get to, in contact with him for, like, weeks at a time. And so it's all downloaded, and I'm not working on – if there are any problems with this video, I will do the corrections myself because it's just taking too long to trust this to somebody else. If I have any other courses, uh, you know, later down the road – I will probably have another video editor because I, I this one just did not work out for me. I'm not going to mention any names or anything like that, but it's a good learning experience. Let's just say that uh, for next time. And if let me just tell you something: if you hire somebody and it's not working out, don't just keep dragging it on out because it'll it'll still go downhill. Find somebody that will work with your team, okay? But I'm not going to get into the whole spiel of that. But the files are finally downloaded, and I'm going to be doing my very best and working my very hardest to get my part done this week um, and as of right now it's November uh, the 10th which by the way I'm gonna write myself a note here it's my stepmom's birthday and uh, if you're watching Karen happy birthday I'm gonna call you later and wish you that you, you know my dad watches these videos so he may actually uh, see this and tell her about it but anyway um, I, I'm going to work hard to get my part done this week. And if you're already, if you're watching this on the new on the mailing list below, are some screenshots of how it's coming along. Now I had actually done some of the work for the neck diagrams, um, like a month and a half, two months ago, while I was waiting for uh, video five to get done, which is I think webisodes nine and ten. Uh, I was I was getting all that stuff worked out and everything and I thought well I'm just gonna go ahead and do a few of these things get that over with and it's the the neck diagrams for the chords section on the bluegrass guitar essentials uh, the last few webisodes by the way before I forget the last few webisodes are all about chords uh, common and uncommon and you know some short chord versions variations and then the licks 
part. This is the meat uh, of the course, all about licks, all about um, getting some, you know, real estate happening with all the things you've learned so far with the scales. You know, the way I designed the course, it kind of builds on itself. So if you've not purchased previous webisodes, you're probably going to be in the dark if you just start at the very back. You want to go in, in uh, succession uh, of, of where everything else leads up to. And if you have, you have plenty of time to practice this stuff, so maybe hopefully you're going to be ready for the licks part uh, of the, the course. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over some interesting ways to get up and down the fretboard using shortened, shortened variations of the scales that we worked with in previous webisodes. So I'm just going to do the best I can to get my part done. And what I mean by my part is getting the neck diagrams done. And there shouldn't be a whole lot. Most of this is going to be tab laden with tabs because it's all going to be tabbed out, all these leaks and everything. And I got to thinking I need to do audio files of these leaks. So I'm going to take and strip the audio from the video and have samples of each lick. That way you'll know what they're supposed to sound like if you wanted to burn it to a, 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 a CD or something like that and listen to it as, as you go along. So I'm going to be doing my best to get that done this week because I want to knock it out. And the quicker I get mine done, the quicker I can send it over to my other productions people and say, here's what I've got. Let's get it out there. And uh, the very last thing I will do probably is write the, the conclusion to the whole s series on uh, the last ebook. And uh, because I want to be able to do, wait to the very end to do that and kind of talk, talk about the whole, you know, story of how long it took and kind of what I went through the whole time and things I've learned for, for upcoming courses later on down the road, whenever that happens. And th that'll, that'll happen at the end. But uh, so I'm going to take this and the people, like I said, that are on the email list will see the screenshots. If you're not on the email list, go to bluegrassguitarcentrals.com and there's a little spot for you on the sidebar to sign up to be subscribed to the mailing list for all updates concerning Bluegrass Guitar Essentials, okay? Um, so I'm going to, another thing I'm going to do to get this done quick, since I'm losing a video editor and won't need him anymore for this course because everything's done now, I'm going to be increasing the hours of my tablature person to get him to get these things, these tabs done as quick as possible, okay? And uh, so I'm, I'm going to increase that. So the funds from the video editor are going to be going to the tab and the graphic designer to finish the rest of this course. So we're going to get out there trying to get it done. As I said earlier, and as you might have caught, this file was so huge that it had to be split into two parts. Uh, I think it's um, right at or a little over three hours long, okay? And it's all about, like I said, chords. There's a whole slew of chords to, to learn, and there's a whole bunch of licks in, in the three keys that I talk about. And um, so there's a lot of stuff to learn, and it's so big that I'm afraid to do it as one huge webisode because it would take a while to download, and your the link to download it might actually expire because it would take you so long to download this thing. So I'm actually going to split it into two separate video files and then decide what the webisodes are going to be like uh, the webisodes the next webisodes may say chords uh, uncommon and common and licks in the key of g and then the last webisode might say licks in the key of c d and um, the other things i'm going over so there's probably going to be two more um, video files released for a total of seven video files and how many ever webisodes that is. So each webisode, the way the way I do my webisodes is, whichever um, topic is discussed is its own webisode. Like in the beginning, I had tuning and picking; those were webisodes. The gear that I use and my gear reviews that was a separate webisode. Uh, scales, certain uh, major scales and pentatonic scales, and all this was a webisode. Minor scales, I think, was a webisode. So it's based out on topics. So that's how I'm kind of going by webisodes. But the video files are seven in all, which will end up probably being, when I get this out on DVD, probably seven discs. Hopefully, if I can get um, the DVD be, to be enhanced, the last DVD to be an enhanced DVD, which will contain not only the video files, but also all the data files from all the eBooks, 
and the audio files and everything else that's included in the course. If not, then that will have to be its own separate disc, which may end up being eight discs. I'd like to get it no more than seven, but we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, so be aware of that. Speaking of DVDs, the big announcement that I had released just uh, about a week ago on my latest Hangout, I think, was for the Ibanez guitar that I own, the pit stock you see right here. Pretty Ibanez guitar. It's the Ibanez RG4 EX1, and I've had it for a year now. So uh, I wanted to do an update and a one year later type update. And on that video, which is my most recent Hangout, on that video, I talked about the that I hadn't had time to get back with uh, everyone on the mailing list because it's been so hectic and there's really been nothing happening because I've been in limbo here, trying in virtual limbo, waiting for everything to download and so I can get it uh, in my hands and be able to proof it and everything. Which, by the way, that was another thing I've got to do is proof everything, see if there's any corrections need to be made and all that. In addition to the, the net diagrams and everything I'm doing, but. I announced this in that hangout because it, I just hadn't had time to get to the mailing list yet. And this, and that is that uh, instead of what I was originally going to do was do the webisodes, then do the actual com combining of all the webisodes into one digital course, and then go with DVDs. Well, that's the big announcement for this is that's changing. Um, because everybody has been asking so much for the DVDs, I figured let's do the DVDs after the webisodes so that way at least everybody has a digital copy you can you can access a digital version of the web of bluegrass guitar essentials and you can access uh, a dvd version and then maybe after that i'll combine everything uh, into one package as far as the webisodes are concerned and there may even be a deal with dvd plus you know the complete course package i may end up doing it like that instead of um, doing a complete package of the digital version separately you may have to buy it with the DVDs is what I'm trying to say but for now the webisodes will suffice uh, and will keep you at bay uh, they will be able to access the webisodes digitally of bluegrass guitar essentials and without having to you know hey let's make this whole whole thing one big pile of you know bluegrass guitar uh, if you purchase the webisodes obviously they're a little bit more expensive per webisode but they're still cheaper than it would would cost you to have the same amount of time with me in private lessons so it's still a bargain um, the other thing is so um, the DVDs are coming after the webisodes I'm probably gonna I don't know I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a break maybe a week off um, just to clear my head of everything bluegrass guitar and all the stress and everything I've still been playing guitar playing bluegrass guitar learning some stuff and and still want to do more videos and things like that but Right now, I'll need a break with having to think about the constant having to have that in the front of my mind. So, probably take about a week, maybe two weeks off since Christmas is coming around the corner, and then work on the DVDs after that. Now, parts of the DVDs is already finished. The graphics is, uh, is a lot of the graphics are done, and some of you have probably seen that if you're on the mailing list. I've given you access to my Trello board of all the Bluegrass guitar updates and the status of where he is and everything like that. But um, so part of part of the DVD stuff is already done. All I got to do is go in and type like all the you know information on like the insert or the back cover. Like the back cover is already done completely. Uh, it's basically just showing you an outline of what the course is all about, and then some pictures of examples of the course of stuff in the course, like the neck diagrams, some video shots some tablature shots stuff like that so that's what the back cover is going to be like the front cover is completely done and just some little tweaks and things like that uh, is all that's needed on the DVD now on that note continuing along that theme now that I don't have a video editor he was also going to be my DVD authoring vir uh, virtual assistant but since I've had so much problems with him and with the connection the internet connection and all this other stuff and he's got a lot of clients anyway and there's been so much of a lag of getting things done. I'm going to do a search and hire a completely different DVD author uh, guy so that he can put all the menus on the DVDs, make it look nice, things like that. Okay, so that's going to be coming up after I get done with the video, the, the last two episodes here, or two video files. I'm immediately going to start hiring, uh, looking for a hiring process for a DVD author person. Okay, so. And I'll probably use Odesk like I have with everything else for that. 
So that brings me down to the last thing, and uh, I'll try to keep this as short as I can. It's about almost it's 15, right at 15 minutes now. Uh, this update, but that's, this is making up for you know past times that I haven't said anything. My goal is to get the webisodes completely done, not just my part, but everybody. Say, guys, here's the deadline. We've got to get this done. I'd like to get it done before Christmas, but my goal is bottom line. I've got to get it done by end of year this year. Okay. Now my goal is to get it done sooner, but obviously if it's not a high quality product, I'm not going to release it until it's done. Okay. Until it's up to standards. Okay. So, and the DVDs I'd like to have out by no later than the end of January, 2015, because my goal for next year is to work on other things besides guitar courses. I've got two huge guitar courses, Texas Blues Guitar at secrets of TexasBluesGuitar.com and now Bluegrass Guitar Essentials at BluegrassGuitarEssentials.com. So those two courses will suffice and plus not only that but all the 500 plus videos on my YouTube channel and the you know, almost 100 videos now I think on my uh, totally free guitar newsletter mainly dealing with electric guitar. There's all kinds of resources out there. So for next year, my goal is not to worry about guitar products or anything like that. I'll still make videos and things like that, just you know, whenever I want to or whatever. But I want to focus on my writing. I've been doing a lot more writing. Uh, I'm going to focus on releasing a new website, which is going to be basically my personal blog. So instead of having to go to my products page, or I mean my products for Bluegrass Guitar Essentials or Texas Blue Guitar, you can come to my personal website and whatever that URL is going to be, I'll release that probably around December uh, because I'm going to start working on my goals for next year and, and kind of take you along that process, those of you that are uh, interested in that. Uh, but I'll, I'll release the um, name of that website later on, but it's going to be basically a hub for everything that I do uh, so that you don't have to go to YouTube, you don't have to go to Facebook, you don't have to go here, you have to go there. You know, a lot of my stuff is going to be right there and it may point you to somewhere else, but you can go here, this central location, to get updates for everything that I'm, I'm doing. All my goals, um, the, you know, all these articles that I've, I've done and things like that. So I've been working on that hard and trying to populate that with some articles. But that's one of my goals. And the other goal I wanted to work on next year is an actual, now that I'll have a course, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and that is um, to host a workshop based around the material in Bluegrass Guitar Essentials. Probably going to be in my hometown here in uh, Cookville. So I've got, a, you know, where I teach guitar at Peachtree Learning Center, they have kind of uh, kind of mentioned and hinted at me hosting it there. So the first one, one or two may be there, and if it gets popular and grows, I may go, you know, places like Nashville or Chattanooga or wherever, if people, you know, really like it enough and the word of mouth spreads enough and... <sighs> I'd like to be able to do that. You know, it'd be awesome to get out and just do workshops all over the country and say, hey, I come up with this course and this is what I've learned and it, this is what I've learned since coming up with a course, you know, more advanced stuff or whatever. And maybe that I'll be, you know, inspired again to create another course based around bluegrass guitar, like maybe an advanced course or a beginner course, you know, like complete beginner, you know, things like that. So it's just, I want to focus more next year on my writing, number one and on building a workshop event, more than one, hopefully maybe one in the spring, maybe one in the fall, one in the summer, just maybe, I'd like to do at least two. Uh, maybe have uh, around, start out with 10 people or something like that, and maybe even do a webinar on it, I don't know. But I'd like to kind of harvest the material that I have now rather than creating new material, ba build a workshop, a seminar type thing around the material here like maybe a two hour workshop or whatever, and do a live event. I'd love to be able to do that. I've had that in my mind for a while now, but even longer than the whole Bluegrass Guitar Central thing has been in here. So I just want to up you date, update you guys with that. Once again, I'm, I'm, my goal is to get this, the web hosts done by the end of the year, the DVDs out by the end of January, and that might take longer depending on how long it takes to have a guy, you know, hire somebody to do that. Hopefully that won't take more than a week or so. So thank you guys so much for watching, and those of you who get this later, if you would like to get this stuff as it happens, you know, as I update it, um, and know when all the stuff is releasing and everything, and also, 
be able to see what has released so far. If you don't know if the course is right for you and you haven't committed to purchase the course or anything, there's several things you can do. Number one, go to bluegrassguitarcentrals.com. That's the hub of all this material, okay? Go there first. Sign up for the, the mailing list on the sidebar. It's a big orange sidebar with, all, with a couple fields to fill in, and it, that will put you on the mailing list to know when the updates happen. Okay, to know what's coming out. There's no spam or anything like that. It's all completely based around right now the Bluegrass Guitar Essentials course. Now, when the Bluegrass Guitar Essentials course is over with, it will probably be converted to a, just a general updates uh, uh, mailing list of updating you of any other courses I come out with, any things, other things I come out with or anything like that. But for now, it's Bluegrass Guitar Essentials related. So when you do that, you will have access to everything that has been released from the point I started updating this course, okay? And that's, I don't even remember when I started doing that. That's been nearly, probably at least a good six months, maybe over that, of material of what I've covered, how it's been released, what has happened. It's kind of like a behind the scenes inside look as to what has happened to get this thing to come together. So if you're not sure if you want to purchase the course, if it's right for you, number one, get on the mailing list and look at everything that's come before and you can see all the quality materials that have been released and you can kind of see for yourself what the course is about, okay? Number two, you can go on the website and there's all kinds of tips. There's all kinds of sample videos, free downloads, things like that, or tabs of some of the videos on there that you can download for absolutely free that are related to this course. And there's also uh, all kinds of articles based on some YouTube videos I've released in the past that deal with information and topics covered in this course, okay? That's number two. Number three, you go to the website again, and you'll go to bluegrassguitarcentrals.com slash webisodes, and the very first webisodes, uh, I think it's one and two, which is basically my gear, what I recommend in my review of the gear that I have and what I recommend, and also the tuning and picking uh, webisode. And that's almost an hour long. So you get an hour, nearly an hour, plus an ebook of all these materials absolutely free, which will link to uh, all kinds of the, the uh, uh, gear that I recommend and use and have used. And so there's all kinds of links that will take you to those products if you are interested in maybe trying some of those out, okay? So you can download that completely free. Again, that's bluegrassguitarcentrals.com slash webisodes. And you can download the first one completely free. That's my way of saying here is a completely free trial version. Try this product out. See if you like it. See if it's for you. See if you understand it. It's, it's more advanced than some people probably would want to have, but there are some beginner sections in there as well, such as the chord section that's coming out. A lot of beginners can learn that. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff for every level. There's even a course overview on the webisodes. It tells you exactly what's been going on. And when you download the first webisode, included in that ebook, that free webisode and ebook, is a, a section that's devoted to beginners, intermediate, and advanced to tell you exactly where to go in the course to find your level of playing. So this has been designed very, very intensively uh, so that everybody can benefit from it. So those are the three steps. Subscribe to the mailing list, have access to all the updates so far, watch the free content on Bluegrass Guitar Essentials, the videos, the articles, the free downloads for tabs and neck diagrams, and number three, check out webisode number one and two, which is completely free. It's a, just under an hour, it's like 50 minutes. So it's just under an hour, and it give you an idea of what the course is about, okay? Plus, on the sample videos tab, I think it's the homepage right now, you'll be able to see, there's a video, it's the very last video, it's number five, promo video number five or something. It's basically, it says, Bluegrass Guitar Essentials in a Nutshell. And that's a 20-minute video of what everything is included in the course, okay? <sighs> All kinds of content there, I'm about to add a breath. And it's been about a 25 minute, yeah, 25 minute update. But guys, that's make up for lost time. Thank you to everybody who's watching, who's still watching right now. I know I can get a bit, a bit long winded, but I'm very, you can tell I'm very passionate about this. I'm passionate about getting it done and taking it to the next level. It's a product right now. It's going to be a hard, you know, in your hands DVD. 
after that, I'd like to do a live event launch when the DVD comes out because that will be a amazing celebration. That would be awesome to get a bunch of people on a, on a hangout or a live event, ask me questions about the course, what I think about it, you know, if, if you have any questions. I'd love to be able to make myself accessible like that and then take it to the next level from there and make it a live event in my local town and maybe even branch out from there, you know, where you can come and pay, you know, whatever the, the fee will be. I'm not, I'm not decided on it yet. I'm probably going to start out maybe small and then maybe do like a discount on the course. And then from there, maybe prices will increase based on popularity and based on the success of it. I don't know. But, you know, that's down the road. Right now, we got to focus on what's important right now, and that's getting these webisodes done. So that's been the update for this time. Thanks to all of my mailing list for subscribing. It, it continues to grow, and I really appreciate uh, you being involved and making you know, being a part of Bluegrass Guitar Essentials. Um, also, the last thing I'm going to say is, if I can remember this, I'm going to put a way that you can leave testimonials to, about the course, um, Bluegrass Guitar Essentials, so that everybody else can see what, how you've learned, what you've thought of the course, and maybe judge an, another way for people to judge for themselves if the course is right for them. So uh, that'll be coming probably on, on the last webisode, the very last video file. Uh, we'll have a link when you purchase that to say, hey, if you found this course to be helpful, please leave me a testimonial letting me and other people know what you like about this product and what you think about it. And, you know, uh, that way people can find out for themselves. So that'll probably be happening, you know, at the very last, when you purchase the very last webisode. So thanks to everyone that's watched. Thanks for people that subscribe to my mailing list. Thanks to people on YouTube, and just thanks to everybody for helping me make this. A, it's a very amazing opportunity to get something else out there so that people can really benefit from the knowledge that I've acquired over the years, okay? So, I mean, we're almost there, guys. We're just like, just almost there, okay? This has been uh, the latest update and probably the last update, more than likely, until this thing is done. Uh, well, there might be one more update with other screenshots, you know, teasers and things like that to let you know what's coming coming up. There'll probably be one more update, and then hopefully after that, Bluegrass Guitar Essentials will be done digital-wise, and we can get started on the DVD uh, video course of this. All right, so thanks so much for watching, guys, today. I'm going to get off here and uh, probably start work on some of this stuff. I've got to get it done. I'd like to get it knocked out this week. Let's see what happens, all right? You and me together, we can make it happen. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next uh, update, whatever it may be. If you're on YouTube, I'll see you on the next video that releases uh, probably tomorrow, Tuesday. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Keep playing bluegrass. Keep getting better at it. Don't quit, and may God bless you in your efforts.